All right, you guys, today we're gonna check out how to make this spinning lure typo here in Photoshop. I gotta go with this artboard size. Let's select the type tool. Type in something. I gotta go with the Noya Haas Grotesque Display Pro. Press Ctrl T, press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it up. And from here, we're gonna go to the filter blur and let's select the radial blur. Convert to smart object. And we're gonna go and increase the amount to 70%. Click OK. And press Ctrl J to duplicate the text layer. And we're gonna go and double click on the radial blur here on the top text layer. And we're gonna go and decrease this to 30. Click OK. Press Ctrl J again. Let's go and double click on the top layers, a radial blur again. And I'm gonna decrease it to 12. Click OK. Press Ctrl J again. Double click on the radial blur. Decrease it to 8, click OK, Control J again, double click again, and now decrease it to 2, click OK. So it should look something like this. Now let's go and create a new solid, select solid color, click OK, and from here we're gonna go to the filter, filter gallery, convert a smart object, and all you need to do is go to the sketch, select the halftone pattern, and make sure that the pattern type is on a circle. I'm gonna go with the size 2, contrast 50, click OK, and we're gonna go and change up the blend mode to color burn. It makes the text pop and it looks really glowy. Now we're gonna go to the adjustments, select the gradient map, let's click on the gradient, and I'm gonna change up the colors. I'm gonna go somewhere here, click on it to add a handle, click on the color, change up the color, click OK, add another one, I'm gonna go with a toxic green, click OK. And I'm gonna add also some orange. And for the last step, I also added a black right here that is gonna make the white text pop even more. So eventually it is going to look something like this. And this was it, thanks for watching. <laughs>